Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining us here at Drawbridge Props and Armory. Today we're going to show you how to take a simple drill and turn it into a web slinger. So what we've got today is a drill. This is just a cordless one picked up. We've got a fan blade. I picked this one up for $10. It's aluminum. Uh, it's got a 5 16 center bore. Next, we've got a little bit of hardware. There's two flat washers, one lock washer, one nut, and one 5 16 bolt that's an inch and a half long. The container we've got is a little uh, half cup. It's got a lid that's quite tight fitting. That's really important that the lid fits on there nice and tightly so it's not going to come off when we use the device. The propellant we're going to use is going to be rubber cement. So that's what's actually going to be used to make your webs. So we've got a couple different wrenches. This is just to put together our hardware. Two different size drill bits. One for the little hole for the rubber cement to come out and one for our major bore for the axle and we've got a center punch. That's pretty much all we're gonna to need to turn this drill into a web slinger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a tiny little hole uh, underneath where the lid sits. So once this lid goes on there, uh, the hole is gonna be underneath the lid and above this lip. So let me just uh, take my drill, and I'm using the smallest drill bit I have. You may have to adjust your drill bit size as needed. Okay, so I'm just going to mark the center here ever so gently. Make sure we get it right in the center. So as you can see, we've got, uh, we've drilled a little hole in there. It's 5 16 It corresponds to the bolt that's going to go through it. We're going to put a flat washer onto the bolt. This is going to just prevent it from crushing the container totally. Now from the inside, we're going to put that down. So you can see in there that we've got the uh, flat washer is kind of protecting the hole that we've drilled in the bottom of the hole of the unit. Next we're going to slide this fan onto there. We put on a flat washer so that's going to help secure it a little bit and then the split washer and finally we're going to run the uh, 5 16 nut onto it. Now the important thing is that once it's all put together that we have enough sticking out that we can still put it into the drill. So don't use too long a bolt, don't use too short, just use one that's appropriate for the depth of your fan and the depth of your, uh, your plastic container. So now that's all secured on there. We've basically made our container. Now this is what's going to hold the rubber cement. And as you can see, what we do with this is just mount this into the drill, pushes air, and in theory it's going to blow the rubber cement out into the, uh, into the world, creating our web. So the next step is to take the rubber cement, put it into the container, and then we'll mount the whole unit into our drill. So. This rubber cement is just uh, regular, fresh, runny rubber cement, and it's pretty nice stuff because it cleans up off almost everything. So I'm gonna fill the container up about halfway. That's enough of that. And then I'm gonna put the lid on there, making sure that it's nice and secure. So we've got the hole there, and that's where the rubber cement's gonna come out. So obviously I'm not gonna dump it upside down. I'm just gonna slowly turn that into the drill, and there we go, that's our finished slinger. Let's go try it out. As you can see, and you can see that this makes pretty nice, sticky looking cobwebs. Okay, well thank you again for joining us. So what we've learned today is that uh, using switching to the faster drill uh, definitely helped us over this one that we tried to use at the beginning. So the speed of the drill was important. Uh, the other thing that we changed was the pitch of the, the blades. We actually just tweaked these a little bit so that they were a little bit steeper and we're throwing the glue a little bit further. So that's what worked best for us, but feel free to play around and uh, send me some clips of what you shoot. Thanks so much. Join us next time. Oh, there's my beer.